Good morning, guys. Welcome to another Daily Juice. We are in Dean and Deluca this morning, had our breakfast and coffee here. And today we need to do some booking of flights and hotels and also reveal to you where we're travelling to next. So right now I'm going to go and have a look on some flight websites, see where the cheapest flight is out of the Philippines um, for tomorrow and probably end up booking that one. There's a few destinations we want to go to and hopefully one of the ones we want to see is on the cheaper side of things, but we'll see. Um, we had a lot of questions recently asking how we book our accommodation, how we book our flight and how we can like travel around the Philippines like fairly cheap. Like, we don't spend a huge amount of money on flights. Um, the only expensive one was for tennis, and we've done a whole video about how you can do that a bit cheaper already. We have people commenting like, you've seen more of the Philippines than I have, and I'm Filipino. Um, so we want to maybe reveal some things today that might help you travel more um, for cheaper. So a bit later on we'll go through some tips we've got um, and how we can make that possible. George put on his Instagram recently like asking a little poll thing like what do you want to do more of, what makes you excited, what do you want to put more time towards at the moment and so many people said travel, so many people said um, see more of my amazing country or people that are watching this video from outside of the Philippines want to come and explore it but don't know how to, how to see it, how to do it on a budget because to be honest with you the Philippines as a collective of islands is a little bit daunting when it comes to like how you travel around it and how to book it um, because when we first got here we thought Palawan was the Philippines and that's kind of it like we were like oh yeah Palawan's the only place you go um, before we realised that actually some of our favourite places we've been to are the more local the more, uh, the more local the more um, the more places that tourists don't normally go to and we're not saying that we're experts by any means on this but we've no. got we've got kind of we've been doing it a little while now and we've got kind of good, so we want to hopefully reveal some tips, some secrets, a few yes. travel hacks. So I've just popped upstairs quick because it was a little bit noisy downstairs um, and I'm going to show you guys uh, some things we're going to do uh, now to try and find a cheap flight out of Manila um, for the next couple of days. So tip number one would be always search in incognito mode. If you don't know what that means, all you need to do is go onto your browser. I'm speaking as a Mac user here, I think it's probably similar for uh, windows but you just press new incognito window and you see it goes black um, and that basically means you're searching with like no browser history as though you've never searched for this flight before um, because otherwise some um, websites like store your history and they think oh this person really wants to travel here I'm gonna up the price a little bit each day uh, see if they don't notice until they book it and they spend more on it so often you'll find that flights are cheaper um, in this mode here so then we can go on to some flight comparison websites so I'll go on Skyscanner and there's a few others I like to look at um, maybe just also just look at Google flights and then once I found the cheaper looking airline I'll then look at that website directly to see if it's cheaper to book through them or if it is cheaper to go through the comparison site so let's start on Skyscanner um, and see what we can do um, destinations we're thinking are either Camagan, Bohol um, we'd really like to go to Legazpi as well, that's definitely on the list and see the volcano there because um, we only did a little bit of Bicol last time, we definitely want to explore some more. So I'm going to start with just a one way from Manila and then I'm just literally going to put in for now everywhere. So you can search on Skyscanner from your destination to anywhere um, and it will literally show you the, so you can see here, can't decide where, click and it says everywhere. You pick your date, so I'll pick tomorrow nice and last minute. Um, if I'm being honest, I'd say look a little bit more in advance than this if you're really trying to find the cheaper flight, but let's just pretend it's weeks away. <laughs> Another tip is to maybe change the location you're looking from. So in Skyscanner, you can pick your country and region. Um, I don't know why, but there seems to sometimes be cheaper countries. So maybe pick UK, US, Philippines. It depends where you are, where you're from, but um, I'm gonna keep it as fit where the, saying that we're in the Philippines. So. It's got a flight to Iloilo for £42, which is very cheap, um, but we've just been to Iloilo, it's not on the list right now. Um, there's Calibo, but again, we've only just come back from, ah, Legazpi, it's only £49 for tomorrow. That's very good. So I'll then go into that and see, because sometimes it's like a silly flight, like at stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, obviously being flexible with dates and times will help you get cheaper flights as well. Yeah, so that's a five in the morning flight, which would completely ruin us for the next day. So it might be worth paying a little bit more in this instance. Oh no, there's one with Sebgo, 47 pounds. Cool, so that's an option. So I'm gonna leave that tab open for now and then search again. So there's a flight for 40, 47 pounds. Sebgo has cheaper extra luggage fees than Air Asia does. Um, so I'll see if that can help. But then I'm gonna open another tab now and see about islands and if we can get to one of them. Okay, so we've just booked a flight. 
it wasn't the cheapest option. The cheapest option was to go to Le Gatsby, but we really, really, really wanted to go to an island because we've done like obviously all of Kuala Lumpur and um, back in Manila now and then before this was Ilo Ilo I think and Manila again so we've not really seen like the sea or a beach like since really Botanas and that wasn't really like swimmable if that makes sense not like a proper beach um with like island hopping tours and stuff so we really 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 feel like that so we're gonna go to Camagan um Oh yeah, we're going to come again, yay! Uh, that was a really bad announcement, sorry guys. We're really excited, it's one of them islands in the Philippines we haven't been to yet. It's somewhere a lot of you guys have recommended we go um, and we managed to find a flight with Skyjet um, and it, I think it was about £65. So 4,000, just over 4,000 pesos each, um, one way, that's including baggage. However, we tried to book additional baggage. Our, our suitcases are about 18 kilograms each because we have quite a lot of clothes we lug around with us and all our like camera gear and stuff. So we we were gonna book like an extra 10 each because you get 10 for free. But then it had a little like flash up notice saying um, they no longer offer that. It's, they're not offering any extra baggage at the moment. We're gonna have to somehow halve our suitcases hope that they allow one suitcase that's 20 kilograms so we can leave one 20 kilogram filled suitcase here um, in Manila until we get back. I mean, it saves us money, we don't have to pay for extra baggage. So another tip would be, I'd say, pack less, um, use washing machines and stuff on your trip so that you can not have to pay loads of extra baggage. I mean, that wasn't our first choice, but it has meant that we've saved some money, so that's good. And then after that, we can now tell you also that we're looking to get a ferry over to Bohol. Bohol's one of our favorite places in the Philippines, um, but we haven't been since we kind of first came to the Philippines back in last November. So it'd be really cool seeing it again, like having seen so many other places here, kind of exploring it again, um, just there. So we'll do that for a few days and then hopefully we'll still be doing Legazby after that. So fingers crossed it all goes to plan. We're now looking for some Airbnbs in Camagan. It seems that quite a few don't have air conditioning, but it's super hot at the moment. So I think we should try and find one with it. Although there's a really nice one here. We've got, um, if you are interested in booking Airbnbs anywhere and saving a bit of money, I, we've got a link below. I think if you sign up on our link, we get 15 pounds and you get 25 pounds. So you benefit quite a lot from it. And obviously it helps us out a little bit as well. So we can use some of the credits to book our accommodation on that um, that we've got already. And then you guys can save a bit as well. But yeah, that's, that's kind of, the main tips we have so like obviously incognito tab do lots of research be flexible go across different comparison sites and definitely look on the main website of the place um, of the airline even um, try and use referral links and affiliate links and discount codes and stuff obviously when booking accommodation um, because obviously it will benefit you but also the person that you're um, taking the link from but we're so excited like getting back to island life is we love cities don't get me wrong but islands are just like we love them. We love the sort of whole vibe, getting a scooter and exploring sort of our own pace. So I think we're going to be going to Camagan for a few nights and then on to Bohol for another few nights. But yeah, that's you completely caught up with what we've done. But now we need to actually book some stuff, book the Airbnb and book hopefully the ferry. Because I think then there's only one a day from Camagan to Bohol. So if we book it enough in advance, we'll definitely get a seat. George has gone to drop laundry. Um, I think he's going to be picking up our drone as well so you can get some island drone shots back. Um, finally, it's been all sorted. Oh yeah, and we're not going to come in tomorrow now because there wasn't a flight. Sky, there was only like a 12 hour flight that was like hopping around. There wasn't a direct flight tomorrow with Skyjet. So we're staying in Manila for one more day tomorrow. We've decided on a very exciting video we're filming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, and the next day we fly to Camagan. Right, you're all caught up, let's get on with the day. Hello guys, remember me? I used to appear on this vlog now and then. Did, did you tell them where we're going? Yeah. Did you tell them we booked the flight? Yes. How did you talk about the baggage thing? Yeah. Right. In that case, if you're wondering where I've been, I've been walking around Manila all day in the heat, sweating, absolutely sweating. So we've come into some aircon, just had some lunch. Um, I think we're gonna head for a little swim this evening, maybe a massage. Second to last day in Manila, we've just been looking at some of these accommodations that we might be staying in the Camagan and it looks insane. And it's under there. We've got our drone back. Drone shots coming soon. Bear with. So last stop of today. By the way, Single Origin, one of our favourite spots. Really like it there. You say that about everywhere. I do. Not we got like money. we got a few favourite spots. Last stop of the day is Watson's because I need to find like a new beard trimmer. 
Watson's. So currently, I cur no, not Watson's. Mercury drug. I currently trim my beard with scissors, and I'm not very good at it, so it's all uneven quite often. So, I want to find a proper beard trimmer. That should be the last stop of the day. Hope you go for a swim. We were just talking about. Go on, get the Instagram. Get that Insta. Get it. We were just talking about our upcoming island trip. Very excited. Fingers crossed for good weather. We're not sure what the weather's going to be like. We just booked some very, very cool oh, looking yeah, accommodation. We did. Oh, it's very steamy. I know. It really looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, yeah. up in the mountains. Um, palm trees everywhere, view of the ocean. Yeah. Looks crazy. So excited because it's been a little while. I think our last kind of. Oh, that's better. Sun on me. Oh, look at that. Philippines summer. The end of the summer. Been a little while since we had island vibes. I think the last time was Shargao, right? Mm, so, uh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, I like it beach count. it, like beaches, palm trees, coconut trees, that kind of thing. So, we've come down to finish the day off with a swim. However, I've just realised that I look like a lifeguard. So, I hope no one gets into trouble in the pool while I'm here because yeah, be right. they'll expect me to save them, which I might not be able to. Really nice pool here overlooking all the big buildings. We don't come down here enough when we stay here. Last time we were here, it was Holy Week, and it was like. 150 people in this one pool, everyone's chilling out. It's a lot different today. There's like a handful of people. So quiet. <sighs> Colder than I thought yeah. it would be. So we're gonna finish off this vlog here, guys, tonight. We hope you enjoyed it, the video today. We hope you got some use for it. We want you to stop it. We, we want you to comment down below where you're traveling to next. Wherever you are in the world, wherever you're visiting in the world, we'd love to know where you're going, what your next adventure is. And also let us know, also let us know if you have any more tips to add to, uh, to find cheap travel, affordable travel, that I'm kind of thing. I'm gonna get an ant on my finger to do that bit, but it's not working. Why are you trying to do that? Uh, All right guys, tomorrow we are filming a video that I'm quite excited about, to be honest. Same. Um, we won't ruin it now, but come back on the channel tomorrow. It's similar to something we did recently, but with something else. Yeah. If you can guess it, comment below. And um, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the new. <gasps> comment below what George said to comment below about. New music coming in. See you tomorrow.